All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Well, that looks interesting. Let's uh, spend some of the points we had. All right, what do we want to go for? Huh. What is this? Light attack damage. Melee damage. Ooh. What's this do? Stealth adrenaline. Looting, pickpocketing, restricted air. Wait, hold on. While in stealth, gain adrenaline by... Oh! By looting chest, pickpocketing, or... You can pickpocket? I had no clue. Oh, I like that. Let's go for it. Okay. Stay sharp. Paladin stone complete. And do the winds call me back to Randvi? Is that all the way up at the top or is it just... We'll see. Still says it's up. And there's an okay. So we just kind of wasted our time coming inside. We grab this, we'll go back to Renvy. Okay. Hey kids. Uh, hey, Avon. And they just kind of respond to me two seconds later. What's this? Just a bell, okay. Randvi, we have a problem. We're My sort love. of a problem. Ranvi, a work is done in Oxenford Shire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. <sighs> to the wolf-kissed one, blessings of the self-begotten one upon you, Eivor. I write to only to ease your mind and let you know that Sigurd is in good hands and fine company. I will treat him with all the care he deserves the order to which I belong uh, has use for such ma oh shit he is in many ways the pinnacle of what we aspire a god in a man's fleshy accoutrements I only hope he comes to know and understand this as well as I do before his suffering breaks him the instrument Holy shit. Full case with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Chatve followed. The order that Bessam and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? 
I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Giedrich. Giedrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. My god. Alright, we got a hundred raw materials, so we can at least do some stuff. Got 105, so let's let's do some things before we pledge ourselves to any other region. Because I want to upgrade, but or not upgrade, but like build a bunch of houses and stuff. Um, Aid me, be my houses. eyes. It's a farm, cattle farm, house, grain farm. See, oh, we got that. Okay. So what else is there? House. Hold on, what is that? Fowl farm. Bakery is over there, and the brewery is right there. So let's do brewery. <laughs> Give Tekla her own place. <laughs> Finally. And we can now call for feasts. I forget how much the other ones called for supplies. I didn't even really look to see if how much that one called to build. Your beggar is done, Tarpen, and our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... When kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though. If you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up down river. I want to bring a half dozen bags home. But I would need an extra pair of hands. Yeah, sure I can help you. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Go to the market with Tarbin. Where are we going? Tarbin. Oh, we gotta Tarbin. take the ship? What brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folks say a band of hard drinking, battle scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of mercy, <laughs> taking in whatever floatsam, jetsam, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. Well, that's good. Glad to hear it. And I, I, I hope we've uh, been more than accommodating for you. Where are we going? I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. Really? But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. Well, that's good to hear. Glad you're doing something you love. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. 
A rare and happy thing. Yeah, very rare. Uh, dude, the dock's right there. Oh, God. <clears throat> yes, yes, I see you both. What can I... It's you. What, what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. 30 silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh, you take good care of yourself. Yeah? You know each other? Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose <laughs> not. Perhaps. There's something you're not telling me, but I won't pry into it. Plus, you said you take odd jobs every now and again, so... I, I do not doubt that you have not killed somebody, or I do not doubt that you have killed somebody here and there. About oh. your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trait. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for, and who care for me. That brings me joy. Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. I'd call it noble. If it's something you love and something that also helps people, it's more than noble. Oh my god. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Turban. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. Not a problem. Okay, let's, uh... Let's try to hit another one. Is this the uh, brewery? All right, I can do this. Let's see. Oh, that's that fox we rescued. I'm like, what is that? And let's see how much some of the farms cost. Grain farm 68, got 15. Is it what, um, is that a person sleeping? No, I don't know why I thought that was somebody sleeping. Um, what do we need? 60. Okay, so if we do a good sized raid, we could have enough. We just have to find a good sized raid. Which way is the long house? This way. Evo? A moment. Sure. Tekla. It looked like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God save all. I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. 
The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. All right. Find out who Guthbin is. Petra, you know? Petra. Eivor, how are you? I can't ask her, and I'm not about to break up I with Renvi. Let's talk again soon. All right, so just Saxon members. Okay. She's not Saxon. Those at the fishing hut are. Oh, and the baker as well. Tarben, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bow. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me. And all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarben, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarben? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. Oh, I'm ready I now. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. Okay. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There is nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? I suppose she is, and she seems very happy with it. If all were spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. Yeah, there are people in the world who do that, and they'll manipulate you into doing it any way they can. Especially making you feel welcome. Cult leaders, psychopathic movements, they'll all do it. Greetings? up here so what do they want from you now they'll want me back 
They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owed. So, what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? Well, we'll see, and if, if it must go down that way, I'll kill them for you. Getting close? I can't really tell. They might be up there at the ruin. We're stopping. That house there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. All right, let's fix this up. My boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message, and you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that her ale is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat, did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarpon's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camp not far to the west. A battalion of blouted, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. I don't know what it was. Is this the sort of work you often did? But we got it. Oh, -ho! they have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring breadmaker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, 
We could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. She told him. <laughs> Escort Tarvin back to the settlement. Right, which exactly is the way we're supposed to go? Oh, we uh, we went a long way. Tarvin, are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Edward. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker. <laughs> Hadn't heard it in years. Dredges up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. <laughs> Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. It is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. Not a problem, man. You're good people. Even though this is the first and only time I've spoken to you. Or, not the first, but the second <laughs> and only two. Hey, we're home. through this way let's just take the road what's wrong with that dog <laughs> all right Tarbin welcome home it's good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarben, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And yours nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it, and purge the past. With pleasure. Right. Awesome. We've forgiven this man of his trespasses and helped him move on a bit. What's everybody standing here for? Right, rations are good. Let's make a couple of sales. May I see your stores? And so. Always a pleasure doing business. Eon. Oh dear lord, if that is not an ominous thing to have our silver be at 2020. Ah, oh God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, I thank Thanks you so, for so very much for joining me I'll today. I'll see you later, friend. Uh, if you're on YouTube and you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time.